they solicited me. I was working for the American Film Institute, and my job was to uh, locate film and bring it in for preservation at the Library of Congress. And of course, Black Hawk was sitting on a large amount of, of nitrate film, which they had found here and there and had copied to get eight and 16 millimeter versions to sell to collectors. So I contacted Mr. Easton and asked if he would be willing to let us have access to his 35 millimeter material for preservation at the library. And he said, of course. So I went out there and met him. And in fact, I remember the exact day because it was the, uh, it was the day that um, man first landed on the moon. Uh, <laughs> I was watching it on television in, my, in the Black Hawk Hotel. In Davenport, by the way, Black Hawk is a kind of ubiquitous. Uh, there was an Indian chief named Black Hawk who owned the whole area. So you have a Black Hawk paint company and a Black Hawk hotel and Black Hawk furniture and you know Black Hawk films just sort of got in on the deal. When I was a little boy and getting the Black Hawk catalogs every month, as you probably did, uh, I used to imagine Davenport as sort of a crossroads with a cornfield on one corner, a church on another, a filling station, and Black Hawk films, <laughs> and that was going to be Davenport, which turned out to be not too far off. Uh, <laughs> there were multiple churches and several filling stations, but you know, <laughs> but the, yeah, but the I, the idea was 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 not terrible, and. Uh, so any, anyway, when, when Mr. Easton agreed, I went there to see what they had, and he was very cooperative. And then we began to get offers of films f for the library from collectors who wanted not to donate them, but to sell them. And we didn't have much of an acquisitions budget, but if they were titles that Black Hawk was interested in copying for, for their purposes, they would pay to, uh, to get the original film, and then after it was copied, give it to us. So it was a nice symbiotic relationship. And uh, I got to know Mr. Easton reasonably well. And he asked if I would, would come to work for them. I had just signed a year contract um, to manage the uh, American Film Institute Theater at the National Gallery of Art. And uh, at the same time, the film program at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I was commuting back and forth two weeks each month, each place. And I said I, you know, I wasn't available to do anything until that contract expired, which was a year away. And uh, so I didn't think anything would come of it. But he had put it in his follow-up file, and a year later he called. And he said, well, you know, we yeah, we'd we'd st we'd still we'd still like you, and the years gone by. How about it? And and on and I mean, <laughs> to be very honest with you, I was embarrassed to put him off again. So I said, well, why not? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and that's how I came there. <laughs>